Chapter 3 Unspoken Thoughts And most thoughts are unspoken, typically. I'd imagine. That's what makes some thoughts and not exactly sentences. Five years ago. Yes, indeed. Did it have something to do with Matthew's dad? Probably. Could that be the reason he disappeared? Uh, I doubt it's that simple, but possibly. I need to find Matthew. Yes. Where could he be? I, what I don't say about recall. Where Matthew went last year? Something about finding Matthew in an old house near here. Hmm. Haven't I? And is it just that like place we went to before? Maybe. Uh, I guess we'll look into it. But we already went this way, did we not? Because like, there's this old... Yeah, the abandoned building. I mean, it could be somewhere else, perhaps. It's been a while since I last played, so this is the only abandoned, like, old building I recall existing. I don't even really remember where we left off last time, because it's been, I think, well over a month. Maybe even close to two since I last played. I don't see him anywhere around here. Old Matthew. You're not in the well again, are you? Matthew. Okay, he did not come back here. Well, that's good. For a second I was worried maybe I uh, was like further back in the game than like where I left off and I didn't save properly or something. Uh, yeah. Oh well, back in we go, I guess. An old building. Uh, what other old buildings exist? I mean, technically speaking, I would imagine most of the buildings on this campground are at least somewhat of age. And they're all certainly of age, presuming building of age is the same as human of age. Well, yeah, I take that back. 18 years is actually... It's not, like, old by building standards, but there's plenty of buildings that exist, especially in your, like, if you're in a high-growth area that are way younger than 18 years old. Though, it doesn't really... This area doesn't give me that particular impression. Like, look at that clock tower. Okay, um, where else do we know of? Uh, perhaps if we look into our device, that'll give us some sort of clue. Um, we do have character updates, though. You know I love my character updates. Okay, lots of stuff to read here. Uh, we'll start with Sayoko. On the shore of Lake Juliet, I had another memory about Mom from 13 years ago. I saw her staring silently out at the lake, holding my hand. What was she thinking about? I don't remember the details, but I felt like she was different somehow right then. Did something happen to her that day? Hmm. Oh, me! On my way to Dad's cottage to drop off the hat he forgot, I found Matthew. My first thought was to catch him and make him give me my bag back. But he ran away from me and got stuck in a well behind an abandoned building. Who hides in a well? I learned a lot talking to Matthew, like why he stole my bag and why he ran away from home. He's not just a random criminal jerk like I thought. I decided to help him look for his dad when I realized he was basic he was basically me two years ago. We searched the boathouse on the shore that had been all sealed up and we found his dad, Michael's briefcase. While we were looking through it, Dan almost caught us, but I distracted him and Matthew sneaked away. That reminds me though, Dan mentioned something happened with the clock tower five years ago. As we explored the lakeshore, I remembered some more stuff about Mom. I was pretty little in the memory, but I was worried about her. Like, she seemed different or something. Uh, okay, we got Rex. Hey, Rex. The director of J.C. Valley, that's where Dad works, he's Elizabeth's father. Turns out he's Dad's boss, and that means I had better behave in front of him. He's a little intimidating, too. Who wears a suit to a cookout? And all he talks about is work, so I figured he would not want to talk to a teenager. And in fact, he spent the whole cookout talking to Sophia. I don't exactly know why, but I got the feeling there's something going on between them. Interesting. Hmm, Sophia, eh? 
We got Dan, hey Dan. Dan spoke to me at the campsite, when he showed me a picture of Matthew, and I confirmed that he was the one who stole my bag. He told me that Matthew had run away from home three days ago, not for the first time. Dan said he's been asking, or been asked to find him. At the time, I didn't know anything about Matthew, and I thought he was just a runaway troublemaker, but I was wrong. He had good reasons for running away. When Dad came to the boathouse, Matthew was actually with me. Or, sorry, when Dan came to the boathouse, Matthew was actually with me, and I felt a little bad for not saving anything. Or not saying anything, sheesh, I'm ugh, terrible at reading today, my apologies. But I wanted to help Matthew because I know what it's like to want to see your dad. I was really nervous talking to Dan, but I did find out some stuff about Lake Juliet, like the clock tower in Michael's company, Crusoe Resort. So it was a good thing in the end that I talked to him. I got Elizabeth. The keyboardist and vocalist for Tommy's band. She's also the daughter of Rex, the director of JC Valley. I first saw her at the campground, but she was busy, so I didn't have a chance to say hi. Later I did, and I regretted it. Turns out she's the worst. The first time we spoke, she ignored what I had to say and talked down to me the whole time. I just wanted to say hi. My mistake, I guess. I just don't get her. Her dad is my dad's boss, so I have to be careful what I say to her. How frustrating. If it weren't for that, I would have let her have it. How oh, I wish I could. We got Janet! The drummer in Tommy's band. She's really friendly and fun to be around. She told me their band is entering the Big Deal Band Contest. I'm going to enter too, but according to her, their goal isn't just to enter. She wants to enter and win. I guess tech- I mean, isn't that- the goal most of the time if you enter the contest. I guess some people are more serious about like actually trying to win than others, but ostensibly everyone is attempting to win, no? Anyways. She wants to win and get a record deal, and winning this contest is the quickest way to make that happen. Tommy has different motivations, but seeing Janet's ambition really makes me want to dig down deep and give it my all. Rock on, Janet. And then there's Tommy. A college student who works part-time at the guest house, Tommy's in a band with Janet and Elizabeth playing lead guitar and writing all their songs. Janet says he's good enough to be a pro guitarist, and I'm pretty impressed that he also writes the music. I guess he's also really popular with the fans of the band. It's weird to think that the slacker who's always taking breaks in the storage room is, like, cool. That being said, I haven't heard the, their music, and as a fellow guitarist, I'm really curious to hear how he plays. Right, aren't slackers usually seen as cool in, like, high school stuff? Isn't it, like, according to the teens, like, uncool to try too hard or whatever? A large dog that was hanging out with Matthew. They get along pretty well, but it isn't his pet. He said that it just started following him around near the campground. It's too well behaved to be a wild animal, so I guess someone must be really be worried about their lost dog right now. Next time I see it, I should try and befriend it so I can give it all the cuddles. What about Ian? Ian is another researcher who works with Dad. While cleaning up after the cookout, he noticed Dad forgot his hat, so he asked me to bring it to this cottage. I bet Dad's doing stuff like this all the time, forgetting things and imposing on everyone else for help. Ian told me how to find the cottage, and also warned me to stay away from the out-of-service boathouse. But then I met Matthew, and we wound up sneaking in. I don't want Ian to worry, so maybe I just won't tell him I went inside? Probably for the best. What about Gina? Gina is another one of Dad's research colleagues. When I needed to take Dad's hat back to him, she jumped in to remind Ian to be specific with his instructions since I'd never been here. She also told me that there was some shady guy in sunglasses hanging around the boathouse, so I was ready to hide right away when I saw him by the lake shore. Gina's great. She's kind and considerate. The kind of person I want to be as an adult. And Sophia, what about her? A researcher at JC Valley, she's one of Dad's co-workers. She was the first person I met at the cookout Dad invited me to. She has a grown-up sort of elegance and a real beauty to her. But she also seems a little hard to approach. Even if my first impression of her is wrong, she was talking to Rex about work the whole time, and I didn't have the courage to butt in. But she works with Dad, so I should really try to say hi to her at some point. But how should I go about approaching her? What if she doesn't want to talk to me? I guess I won't know until I try, but it makes me a little nervous. Okay, how many more? We got Matthew, of course. So that boy's name is Matthew after all. He ran away to the lake, and I caught him after he fell into a well by an abandoned building. 
well, I guess rescued is closer to the truth. When Matthew told me that he was looking for his dad who had gone missing, I was sympathetic right away. I totally get wanting to find your father, but I didn't trust him at first. And I said mean things to him. I can't make that up to him, exactly. But I can't help him look for clues about his dad. I mean, look at this poor kid. All alone, with his mom dead, and his dad missing. I can't just do nothing. We got Kelly. Matthew's little sister. She loves stuffed animals, that strange little rabbit in her father's briefcase was kind of cute, I guess. I can see why she liked it. That one must be her favorite, in fact. It was falling apart, so you can tell just how much she loves it. Okay. Uh, Alright, we know that presumably they have a mother. Matthew's mom died from an illness. It seems like before she died, she was mad that Matthew cared so much about his missing dad. But why? Always crying and so angry. I wonder if she had a reason to want Matthew to give up on his dad. I guess she wanted to protect him, since Matthew was so brokenhearted about his dad. I can only imagine how sad she felt when she got ill and was forced to leave her son's side. Hmm. Got Michael. Matthew's dad was the president of a resort company, so I guess the super rich part was actually true. The company was called Crusoe Resort, and they were trying to make Lake Juliet into a tourist trap with stuff like the campground and boathouse, but there was some kind of trouble and the company went bankrupt five years ago. Maybe that's why Michael went missing. Huh, the clock tower was also sealed up five years ago, and Michael disappeared five years ago. What else happened here five years ago? Seems like an important uh, time period. A, suspi a suspicious seeming guy in a black suit and sunglasses. When Gene and Ian asked me to take Dad's hat back to him, they warned me to be careful about this creepy guy hanging around the area. When I spotted him, he sure didn't look like a local, so I figured this was who they were talking about. Matthew's been keeping tabs on him, I guess because he thinks that guy might be connected to his dad's disappearance. Plot twist, he is his dad. And probably not. But maybe. But sipping around the lake doesn't prove anything. He seems less like a culprit and more like a detective or somebody following the case, but that's just a gut feeling. Who is he? What's he doing here, and is he connected to Matthew's dad somehow? Alright, and that is all the character stuff caught up. Lovely. Alright, I do have... Wait, I'm carrying way too much stuff on me. And whatever. What, what else do I have? I, I still have notifications here. What do I? What am I being notified of? Is it because I took a picture or something? Okay, no more notifications. Just the way I like it. That's actually kind of a joke. I basically never actually clear my notifications in real life. My uh, sister always gets on my case about that. It's like, what sort of civilized person in the 21st century doesn't clear their notifications? I'm like, why would I clear my notifications? New ones push the old ones out of the way, right? Don't they? Don't you know? Ooh, a bench. Hello, bench. There's a white bench on the side of the walking trail. Seems like a nice place to just sit down, relax, enjoy the view. Oh, hello. Ah. There's Dan on the phone. Matthew probably didn't go that way. Yeah, seems unlikely. Maybe he went back towards, like, the main campsite area? It's plausible. Over here, perhaps? Is the campsite? What say you about this, Matthew? Let's see, so that way does like literally go back to the campsites. It could be correct though. Oh. Um. I guess I have no reason to visit the campsite right now. Maybe he's hiding out in... Oh, I don't think I can go back here actually. Oh, but we could maybe access the, the little, like, store area, the visitor center from the opposite side, perhaps, by way of the, like, old abandoned house area, possibly. 
Letter maybe we need to go all the way to the clock tower, but I don't think we can get there without passing by Dan. So back this way we go, to the abandoned building. Better, who knows, maybe there's a puzzle somewhere that we need to solve. This game does tend to like its puzzles. Hey Matthew, you somewhere around here? The hole in the fence is patched with yellow tape. Okay, so I can't go this way. Do we have a map? Your desk. Do you have a... Is there a map I can use on my desk for this zone? No. Okay, um, so let's think about this. Where might Matthew have gone? He could be, like, lurking somewhere. And he wouldn't still be in the boathouse. Unless... Maybe we need to get in the boathouse and take a boat across the lake. Discarded snack bags and empty bottles are scattered on the floor. Hmm... I hope it's not the case that, like, he actually, like, told me exactly where he was heading, and I just, like, forgot. And now I just look stupid. Hold on. Is there anything in this little, like, hallway zone? Doesn't seem like that. Okay. We haven't checked if we can jump the fence off to the... The left here, the Lawrence Mine. Hmm? Lawrence Mine closed. Let's see the mine Tommy mentioned. It says keep out. I better not go past here. Ah, oh, since when has people telling you to keep out kept you at bay, Ashley? Come on. Okay. Hmm. Right, we cannot actually walk in the water, but we can enjoy some time on the shore. What's the difference between a shore and a beach? I don't know. Right, well, we're back in the boathouse. I doubt Matthew's still in here. But this is an area we can access, so there's a chance. Maybe we could take the motorboat out. An aging motorboat is docked, ready to head out onto the lake. Okay, apparently I cannot take the motorboat out, unfortunately. What about these boats? There are six wooden boats stowed by the windows. Broken fishing mm. rod. Why'd they just leave this broken fishing rod here? It's not out in the open, so maybe someone just forgot to throw it away? Hmm... Or maybe Matthew broke it in his daring escape. I mean, it might be relevant. Hmm? Huh, oars are a lot lighter than they look. It still seems like an, a lot of work to move a whole boat around with these. It's not that bad. You just, uh, you're basically like pushing against the water. Okay, on the pier now. Are we sure we don't need to get to the clock tower? Like, I don't know. It seems somewhat relevant, maybe. 
I guess not. Um. Hmm. Have we been there before? I don't think so. Let's take a look. This game is a bit more uh, naturalistic in its layout. It's not like uh, just a building with an obvious like layout and floor plan, or even like the hidden rooms. You're looking at it and you're like, well, actually, as it turns out, there's like a big empty spot in the floor plan here, which implies there must be something there. Yeah, yeah, th there's like a pseudo hidden path here. Okay, okay, this looks promising. Mm. Is this that photog photographer's house Dan told me about? Maybe. Maybe I want to go inside. Ooh, it's a jar. The door's open. Is Matthew in here? Hopefully. Hello? Anyone in here? Hmm. Sounds like no one's home. No one's living here, but they didn't move out either. Hmm. There's still dishes in the sink? Did something happen while they were washing the dishes? That or they they might have just be the sort that leaves dishes in the sink for a ridiculous quantity of time. That's a big kettle. Yeah. I bet you could boil all sorts of water in that thing. Okay. Hmm. A photo of a woman. Huh? Who is this? Uh, it could just be a random, like, stock photo that looks visually appealing. Though, knowing this game, it might actually be relevant. It might be someone's, like, late great-grandmother or something. Landscape <laughs> photos. These photos of the lake are all gorgeous. Okay. Oh, we got a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. I guess the person who lived here liked books. I'll bet they sat and read in that chair by the fireplace. Sounds cozy. Ah. Oh, this is a photo of the clock tower. It looks like they took this photo from in front of this house. Okay. In front of the house, you say. What chair, hello? Ah. Mm, a nice chair in front of the fireplace on a cold winter day. Sounds pretty great, honestly. Oh, we got footprints. Ah. These footprints, they must be Matthew's. Alright, Matthew. Reveal yourself. I have found you. Ooh, a nice study. What's S this? Ooh. A combination locked briefcase. Looks like Always Matthew's those. dad's briefcase. Matthew's gotta be around here. Oh, there's clearly a trap door. Got Matthew's dad's briefcase. Oh, sunrise and sunset photos. I think the top one is a sunset and the bottom is a sunrise. Pretty. The scenery here is so pretty. I was about to say, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you, like, got a picture of each from, like, the same angle, and then I realized, wait a minute. That's not, like, possible due to physics. I'm presuming you actually want to catch the sun in each photo from the same angle. These four are all just beautiful. <laughs> I'd love to have a pretty portrait like these taken of me. Okay. Alright, there's no way this isn't a puzzle. Huh. These albums are huge. There's two for each year. How many pictures does a photo photographer take in a year? Oh, there, it's not a puzzle. It's just books. Okay. So you're here in the late 90s. This game, of course, takes place in, like, roughly the mid-2000s, right? Mid to late 2000s, I think. Huh? Is this bag for holding a camera? It seems kind of big. But I suppose you need room for extra lenses and film and all. Okay. Oh, hello. Ooh, a newspaper clipping. Mm -hmm. It's an article about someone named Gilbert Moss. 
says he's living in Lake Juliet. Dated September 9th, 1998. Not a very recent report. Um... These articles aren't about anything worth mentioning. What about these ones? A newspaper article has been stuck to the wall. You don't say. Pretty. It's a landscape photo. It's so pretty. A small photo is hanging beside the newspaper articles. Okay. So, moss. Moss. Oh, what's this? A calendar for the year 2002. Mm. This calendar is from five years ago. It's like time just stopped in here. Okay. Huh. Huh. Lots of stuff still here, but this hutch is empty. Whatever was in here must have been important if it's all they took when they left. Okay, and then obviously we got the... this. A trap door? Indeed. Looks like stairs down to the basement. I should check it out. And hopefully it doesn't, like, lock behind us. That would be... bad. Obviously. Huh. Matthew? Oh, they developed film down here. Oh. Ashley. You're looking a bit glum. I've been trying to find you. How do you know I'd be here? Process of elimination, mostly. Dan gave me the idea. He said this is where they found you when you ran away last time. You didn't tell him you'd seen me, did you? N wow. Does he know I'm here? Uh, no. Of course not. Don't worry. He's looking for you, though. He said he'd take you to the police if he found you. This is a great spot to lay low. Basement hideout's a nice touch. How'd you find this place? Mm, some construction worker told me about it last year. Mm. Said a photographer used to live here. Curious if they haven't, like, rented it out to anyone since. I, could, I imagine the... I could get some decent rents from the place. He'd take pictures of the lake all the time. But one day, he just disappeared and left all his stuff too. Huh. Oh, that's strange. Huh? Wait a minute. Interesting. Hey, is this you in this picture? Yeah, and that's my family. Okay. I found it here last year. Oh? Huh. So I guess the photographer yeah. must have known them. Those two are my parents, Michael and Emily. And that one, dear mom, is... Yeah. That's you, right? You're so little. Hey. So then the girl on your dad's back is your little sister, Kelly? Yeah. Is that... The stuffed animal that was in the briefcase? <laughs> yeah. Kelly loved that stuff, Bunny. She took it everywhere. Okay. Noted. It's a great picture. You all look so happy. Yeah. We were. We were really happy. Kelly and I laughed and played, and our parents laughed with us. Um, Ashley? Dan asks... Please don't tell them where I am. Oh, don't worry. I'm basically an accessory to your crimes now. We're in this together. Ride or die to the very end. And he'll call the police, and they'll take me back to my uncle. And I never want to go back there again. Those are very strong words. Look, Matthew. I understand how you feel. But you can't keep going like this. <sighs> So, why, why do you never want to go back to your uncle? Why don't you want to go back to your uncle? It's not a case of abuse or anything, is it? You know, my dad went missing for years before, too. I lived with my aunt the whole time he was gone. I get it. So I can tell you one thing for sure. Your uncle must be really worried about you right now. No, no way! He's not worried at all! Hmm. Matthew. He hates me. 
But does he really, or is this just a kid with like no sense of perspective? Trust me. He was going to send me to boarding school. That in and of itself doesn't mean he hates you. Yeah, maybe he thinks that the you know, could use a bit more uh, discipline drilled into her, something. I hear actually boarding schools can actually be quite good uh, in terms of outcomes. Boarding school? What would that mean for you? He's sending me to some school in London in September. Yeah, figures it would be British. London? Like in England? Yeah. That's basically the other side of the world. Yeah, more I or less. Know. He said I need to learn how to be a responsible adult. I, yeah, you probably do. But they have all these rules, and I have to live at the school, too. Yep, that is the definition of a boarding school. I won't be able to come home until I graduate. Fairly standard fare. Although, not even letting you go home for, like, any, like, breaks during the year at all. No holidays. Not unheard of, I suppose. That's awful. So, I didn't have a choice. Wait, hold on, hold on. I thought you you don't want to go home because your uncle hates you. He's allegedly. He's gonna send you to boarding school where you won't have to see him for what, until you graduate. So until you're, like you're an adult, which is what like five, six years or something for you. <laughs> this seems like a total win. I, I don't know what we're complaining about here. I needed to run away. This is my last chance to find my dad. If I get caught again, I'll never be able to come back. I had no idea. Uh, well then, uh, let's stick with uh, just as, like, hard of subjects, just as solemn. How about that stuffed bunny? So, this stuffed bunny's Kelly's? What was it doing in the briefcase, I wonder? Yeah, I have no idea. Why don't you hold on to it? Might help cheer you up if you're ever feeling lonely. What do you think? Uh... No, you hang on to it. <laughs> it's too cool to have a stuffed animal. Come on, you should have it. I... I said no! Huh? Fine. <laughs> then I'll go with Ashley. She's not expecting some uh, amateur ventriloquism, but okay, I'll take it. Okay, I'll help you. What? You want to find out what happened to your dad, right? Let me help you. We'll do it together. Uh, really? Absolutely. Thanks, Ashley. There is one thing, though. If we don't get anywhere today... You're going back to your uncle. You have to go back, back to your uncle. Oh. At least for now. See, Ash and I are on the same page. What? Why? Think about it. Let's say you keep looking for your dad. What happens if you never find a lead? Well... What will you do? I'll keep looking. You'll just keep looking forever? That's right. I'll never give up. Mm. If that's how you feel... Why not talk to your uncle about it? Tell him how serious you are. I'm sure he'll understand. <sighs> okay. Promise? Yeah. Now you'd better uh, not just casually break that promise. I know we don't have like a court of law or anything to enforce it, but it's like... You, you stick to your word, young man! Okay, then let's start our search. Okay. Our first stop should be my dad's cottage. I've been thinking about how to read the disc from the briefcase. I bet we can check it out there. Don't you think he'll report me? I suppose that's a concern. Don't worry, he's at the lab. Ah, yes, yes, of course. You're sure? Yep, positive. And he's Let's definitely go. not gonna come back while we're there. For sure not gonna happen. Yeah, okay. Okay, mirror, mirror mm -hmm. on the wall. It sure is dusty. No one's used this in years. All right, photo of Matthew's family. Hmm. I wonder where Matthew's dad went. 
Poor Matthew. I hope we can get them back together. Is that... The picture on the bottom right, is that the... Like, captain from the first half of the game? Oh, it looks kind of similar. Right there. Is that, is, that, is that the guy? Can I zoom? No, not really. Anyway. I guess it's not important, just kind of interesting. And then larger. Huh? What's this, more photography equipment? I guess there's a lot more to photography than I realized. Yeah, certainly back in the day. I mean, these days it's like all digital, isn't it? Hmm? Chemicals, beakers. It looks like a chemistry lab in here. Um... Developing solution, fixing agent, chemicals for developing film, I guess. Do you soak your photos in this tray to develop them? Something like that back in the day. Oh, and a portable electric stove. There's a portable electric stove among the equipment for developing photos. An electric stove? Is this for developing photos? <laughs> Maybe they just used it to boil water for coffee or whatever while they were working. Toilets? What? I'm not sure I like the idea of a toilet in the basement. Why not? And heck, it's better than a... I argue it's better than a toilet on like the second floor or something. Because then, uh, if there's a toilet on the second floor and it overflows, guess, guess, uh, what? Your, your first floor is getting floated, or flooded, as well. And if you've got neighbors upstairs that somehow managed to make that happen twice in a single week, it gets, uh, rather annoying rather quickly. <laughs> Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. But if you had to go in the middle of the night, creepy. I suppose that's a concern. Doesn't feel like they use this place for bathing, does it? Huh? Do they have another bathroom? Would seem somewhat unnecessary to have a second bathroom for such a small... Like, cottage. I guess this thing controls the power for the house? Yeah. I don't want to accidentally kill the power or anything, so I won't touch it. Alright. Oh, we got, uh, of course, new stuff in the DOS. We now know about... Oh, do we not have photographer guys anywhere in here? Really? That's actually somewhat surprising. Michael. Uh, we read most of this recently. I think it's just that we have a new picture. Probably... Yeah, same with Emily. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Just new pictures. That's fine. And... Let's head on up. I can take the briefcase. Oh, thanks, I guess. Got it. Hey, while well, you're being such a gentleman, I happen to be carrying like loads of other knickknacks. You, you wanna deal with those for me? Hey, hey, hey. Not too heavy. Nope, I'm good. I carried it this far, didn't I? All right, it's all yours. Let's go. Okay. Onwards. Oh, I did not look at the tripod yet. Hmm? Alright, this is a tripod for holding the camera still. Bigger than I thought. Photographers must have to work pretty hard carrying all this gear around. Yeah, it's gonna get heavy, that's for sure. And it also gets weird that, like, in the realm of photography, we, like, are aware of and accept the fact that... A three-legged structure is like the most stable thing, but then we refuse to make like chairs three-legged structures or anything Because like you or shopping carts like they should do three-legged shopping carts because you know When you're pushing that shopping cart around there's always that one wheel that like Must be like slightly more above the ground than the others and just like spinning around and going crazy that the one like messed up wheel I bet if you had a tripod shopping cart that wouldn't be a problem and therefore Let's make tripod shopping carts a thing. That's what I say. Elizabeth? Wait, what? Um, I'm not wandering around the campsite with a runaway child. What's with the face? Oh, I mean, might have something to do with seeing your face. 
jerk. Do you have a problem with me? Yes. Well, no, that would imply that I only had one problem with you, whereas any reasonable person would have several. Not at all. Just surprised. I didn't expect to see you out here. Uh-huh. What are you doing here? What do you mean? Why would you ask me that? It's none of your business. Calm down. I was just making small talk. It doesn't take much to set you off, does it? I didn't mean it like that. I was just taking a walk. Am I not allowed to go for a walk? Is that so? Let's go, Ashley. Never noticed that statue in around here before. Huh. Wait. What? Ugh, I knew it. What? Hey, I'm allowed to talk to people and to have friends and acquaintances. <laughs> You're that Crusoe resort kid. Um, no, he's not. Yeah. Uh, look, let me just refuse that allegation right off the bat, okay? He's not the Crusoe resort no, kid. Of course. Everyone around here does. Okay, well, um, so much for denial. Um, what would be next? Uh, can we get anger? Anger? How dare you! He's the son of the president of Crusoe Resort. What about bargaining? L look, if I if, if you don't tell anyone, I'll give you ten bucks. What's with the attitude? So what if he's the president's son? You clearly have no idea, so I'll enlighten you. You should know about Crusoe Resort. After all, they almost ruined the lake. Ruined the lake? Yeah, and it was his dad's fault. His dad was just attempting to increase the economic value of the wonderful natural property here. First, the jerk finds this beautiful lake. Then he buys up all the land he can to make this big resort. So? It's how he went about it. The construction ruined the environment here. I mean, it still seems like a pretty nice place, all things considered. They totally polluted the lake. I guess I don't really have the sophistication to test that. Mm. Is it still good to swim in? Some people would do anything for money. Destroying nature to build a tourist trap? Unbelievable. And look, I'm not going to deny that, you know, construction and infrastructure can have a negative impact on the environment. However, if the intention here was to build a nature resort, surely it would be in the economic interest of the person building the resort to preserve as much of the nature as reasonably plausible whilst building the project. No? Otherwise, they would have ended up devaluing the underlying value of the asset which they were trying to profit off of in the first place. Selfish people like that are the reason the earth is hurting. Oh, poor mother nature. Ugh. Get it? That's the kind of person his dad is. That's enough, Elizabeth. I'm just telling the truth. Even if that's true, it has nothing to do with Matthew. That is a fair point. Typically, uh, the young children of CEOs don't have much to do with the day-to-day -day of business. Uh, luckily, she doesn't seem to be reporting him to the police or anything, so that's good. So what are you doing here? Do you take solo walks often? That's not inherently suspicious, especially in such a nice environment. Sometimes, I guess. Sounds relaxing. Any good trails around here? Oh, we calling her bluff? Trails? <laughs> no such thing. Really? You're local, I thought you'd know. Oh, by the way, I saw Tommy and Janet earlier. They said they were headed to band practice. Are you going? What? Uh, right. I've got to skip this one. Errands to run. Oh, that's too bad. Seriously? How can you walk around like nothing's wrong? Hmm, I have a sudden. You don't... I don't what? You don't have any proof. Stop lying! What? Matthew? Oh... 
I just got him back. You gotta be more gentle with the boy. He's like a scared little prey animal, alright? You say one mean thing. I scare him once and boom, off he goes. Now I'm gonna have to be the one that goes off and finds him again. Thanks a lot. Whatever. Okay, let's go find our boy again. Oh. Oh, oh there he is. Hey, quit running off like that. Matthew, my boy. Hey. <sighs> Are you okay? What do you think about what Elizabeth said? Regarding the, uh... Regarding your dad's construction? I think she didn't have to be so rude. She kind of made me mad. So you were... shocked? Well, yeah, a little. Do you know if... if that's true? Everyone says it is. But you don't believe it. No. But I get confused sometimes. I can't help but wonder if... Hmm. I've been here before. With my family. Oh yeah? It's huge. Yeah. And this is a special tree. How so? Just like have memories attached to it. I remember Dad used to stand here and look out at the lake. He always seemed so calm. You remember? I just thought Dad liked the view. And then everything happened, and now I'm not so sure. What was he thinking about when he stared out at the lake? Was he surveying? This glorious property. And that's something I wonder about now. Let's talk about the tree. Seems like a nice tree. It sounds like this tree is important to you. Yeah. I have so many memories of all of us together here. What was your family like? Dad was always busy working. When I'd ask him to play, he'd yell about being interrupted. Mm. Oh. Mom was always sick, so I used to take care of Kelly. And we played together all the time. Kelly was cute, but she was a lot younger. She cried a lot. Being a big brother must be tough sometimes. Yeah. Hey, Matthew? Does Kelly live with your uncle too? No. Oh. My uncle said she went to stay someplace a long way from here. Any further specifics? I don't get to see her. Do you at least, like, call her on occasion? That sounds really lonely. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, I just don't remember. I can't even remember the day my dad left. When I try, everything gets fuzzy. Huh. It's all a blank. Not the last thing he said before he left. Or the look on his face. Seeing Matthew like this reminds me so much of Dee. Mm. Something terrible must have happened to Matthew. Something that left a scar inside. Just like with Dee. Listen. When I learned about my mom, a friend told me something. He said, even though facing the truth can be hard, in the end it's always for the best. And I suppose that's a decent motto to live by. What do you think? You're right. I need to know what Dad was thinking. That's why I have to find out what happened to him. The clock tower. You want to check it out next? Let's take a look. Might find something. So let's go. What are you waiting for? Nothing, I, I guess. Some 
foul play involved. Especially if his dad was quite unpopular due to his actions around here. Could someone have had... Oh no. Thank you.